Hi guys, this is Andy from This Mode Tech UK. Today we're giving a unboxing and overview for Shuttle. This is their SZ87R6 barebone system. Okay, just before we get started guys, just want to let you know that this is going to be an unboxing and overview of the actual system itself. We will be doing an install into the actual shuttle um, barebone system in a, another separate review. And down below you will find a link uh, where you can actually go and look at the actual current price uh, on the actual product on Amazon um, in case you do want to purchase. So, let's start with the box. We've got the shuttle branding up at the top. Small and powerful, simple and stylish, cool and quiet. Aluminium design with cutting edge technology, repeated in multiple different languages. Moving the box around, a little bit of branding throughout. And then coming on to this part here are the main specifications. So I'm just going to bring that up a little bit closer. Hopefully you guys can read that. So we've got the Intel Z87 Express chipset. Socket support is the 1154th generation Core i3, i5 and i7 CPUs. We've got a dual channel DDR3 up to 1600 megahertz with a maximum of 32 gigabyte. We have one PCIe X16, a PCIe X1 and a mini PCI slot, which also comes in a full size and an additional half size slot. We've got support for MSATA, USB charging for mobile devices, a dual gigabyte LAN, 7.1 channel HD audio, USB 3.0 and it includes an 80 plus bronze 500 watt PSU. Just a little bit further down, it does also mention that it comes with two three and a half inch bays, along with one five and a quarter inch bay as well. Okay, so let's now get into the box and see what we have on the inside. Okay, so up at the top, it looks like we've got some form of instruction manual. Uh, we've got a European, I think that's a European cable. And that's about it. Oh, on this side we have got a box of a few accessories, so we'll look at that in a moment. So I'm just going to attempt to bring this machine out. Pop that down over there. Put the box to one side. Okay, so we're just going to put that down over there a moment and have a look and see what we get in here. Okay, so I see we've got a variety of different user guides here, which are obviously going to tell you uh, by the looks of things. They appear to be in multiple different languages. Uh, this appears to be the English one. And this is your quick start guide. So it's quite a simple thing to uh, look at. It's going to tell you all the various different connectors on the motherboard, the illustration of the motherboard, um, as well as everything else that you're going to need with regards to how to install etc so make sure you do give this a good read okay so what do we get inside this little box and inside we've got a couple of uh, SATA cables as well as a stupidly big bag of silica gel we have got some screws and a couple of cable ties as well as an LGA 1150 CPU socket and your shuttle driver DVD. Okay, so let's now get this out of the uh, protective wrapping so we can have a closer look at the actual machine itself. You see it comes very well packaged. And there she is. It's actually quite surprisingly light. A lot lighter than what I thought. So let's just bring you in for a closer look. Okay, so let's give you a tour of the SZ87R6 from Shuttle. This is obviously the front. Got a nice brushed aluminium effect on the on the entire case actually, to be fair. Uh, we've got five and a quarter inch bay up at the top here with a nice chrome trim along the front with a, an eject button here. A um, couple of LEDs down here with the uh, power on as well as hard drive activity. Got a nice push button for the power on and off. And then pushing this in down at the bottom, we can reveal two USB 3.0, uh, USB 2.0, along with a, fa uh, a fast charge 
USB 2.0 and your uh, microphone and headphone jack all nicely put away tucked away by that cover which is really nice so it's quite an attractive looking front quite basic quite simple but the chrome along here does make it really stand out so we'll move it around and you can see again also we've got the brushed aluminium effect here uh, so ventilation down at the, the bottom moving on to the other side and again pretty much the same I'm just going to tip that over and look at the bottom um, and you've got these rubber, quite soft rubber feet actually, uh, so it's going to help with vibration as well as stopping you from scratching your surface. And then moving on to the back, you can see the fan there from the, uh, the actual PSU as well as your power connector. Uh, we've got a DVI connection, HDMI connection, we've got uh, a couple of USBs in here as well, two USB 3.0, you've got your dual LAN connectors as well as your 7 channel audio as well as two PCI covers so it'll be quite interesting to see how well um, how much room we have on the inside for that another thing to point out you may or may not be able to see this but on the inside you can actually see the heat sink through that grilled area so let's now take the cover off and have a look on the inside okay so let's now remove the exterior aluminium case just undo the thumb screws, slide it off. It looks to be a bit stuck, bear with me. It's not stuck to your hand, there we go. And this is basically the, uh, the inside of the system. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is there is actually quite a bit of room on the inside of the actual case itself, which is really good to see. It means that there's, um, you know, so going to be a, a lot better with regards to cooling, etc. And just touching on the cooling, um, I'll put that down. Hopefully, you can see on here that we have got this what appears to be like a, a copper plate with uh, four copper um, heat pipes that run up to this heatsink and fan, which I'll show you a little bit later on. Now, there's no indication anywhere on the actual motherboard. I have had a look to see if it tells you who the original OEM of the actual board is. I'm not sure whether or not Shuttle manufactured their own boards or not. I will obviously attempt to find out. So, let's just obviously go over a couple of things on the board. Obviously, you've got your uh, mini PCI slots here um, for you to actually use. You've got your PCI X16 here. Um, as well as the PCI X1. Uh, you've got your four banks of memory, dual channel memory down here, so you can store up to 32 gigabyte of RAM into this system. You've got your front IO port down over here. Um, I'll just bring you in a little bit closer so that hopefully you can sort of get a, a nice sort of look around the inside. I see you've got your USB 3.0 header there, which is quite an unusual place to have the actual header. Probably would have been better to stick it over in that far corner uh, next to the 24 pin power connector. You've then got your four SATA ports on here. Um, even though you are only able to connect in three devices, they've put four um, connectors on there, which is uh, obviously room for expandability. Um, you could probably get some form of drive adapter to, um, I know that, um, who is it? IC Dock do a five and a quarter inch adapter to fit two SSDs in there. So that might be something of an option for you. Um, so we'll just move this around to this side. And you can see, first of all, that we've got this uh, TFX PSU up the top here, 80 plus bronze. Again, shuttle branded. Again, I don't know if they are the OEM for this, um, but I would imagine that that's you know, gonna be plentiful for this type of system. Looking at the spare connectors that you've got, you've also got uh, a 6 pin and a 6 plus 2 connector for PCIe. We've got a spare motherboard connector here, 4 pin. And just pulling the rest of them out here, we have on this one channel a total of 1, 2, 3, 4 SATA connectors, 2 Molex connectors, as well as a floppy drive connector. So you've got a great range of possibilities with regards to connectivity of devices um, on the system. Um, there is a spare fan header down here, that's one thing I want to point out, although I've had a very good look around and I can't see for the life of me where the hell you can actually install an additional fan onto the system, um, which would have been quite nice um, to actually install an additional fan into this. 
hopefully you can see quite a good sort of view all the way through of this here looks really really good indeed nice layout very simple um, so and hopefully at the back there you can see the actual heat sink etc which we'll come on to in a moment so I'm just going to now remove the um, the hard drive bay area so we just have a, a bit of a closer look down okay so I'm just going to pull this out a moment it's quite simple very easy to actually pull out of the actual um, case one thing to note is that there is no sort of dedicated SSD area on the actual um, hard drive bays or anything like that which would have been really good to see um, potentially with a system like this you are going to want to boot at least into an SSD um, and then use a mechanical drive uh, for storage but they haven't included that um, so yeah there we go that's a, a sort of more of a close down look onto the actual system and you see I see the front IO ports down at the back here with these cables which you know they're not too too long um, so it means obviously cable management is, is really really good within the actual case um, the only thing I mean I'll see if, if they were designing the motherboard potentially a little bit better stick these USB connectors up at the top then you won't have to worry about the cables running above or, or sorry across the actual motherboard um, so there's your sort of socket connector we will take a, a closer look at how we install the CPU when we come to do an install into the actual system um, so what I'm going to do now we're going to have a, a sort of first look at how the CPU is called we're going to remove these four screws at the back and hopefully get in and have a look I'm not quite sure how we actually go about getting into this but I'm sure I can uh, figure it out Oop, there we go without trying to break it okay so uh, you can see that we have got what looks to be probably about an 80 80 millimeter fan down here um, those of you that are probably looking at trying to overclock in a system like this would probably want to upgrade that to something a bit more powerful I don't know how powerful it is or anything about the actual fan um, it does say it has got a hydraulic bearing um, but potentially you would want to go and upgrade that fan to something maybe a bit better um, so let's just quickly remove that from there and then we can reveal the actual heatsink that is potentially cooling the system and so you can see the four copper pipes that are run up on the inside there see this is a bit loose at the moment I'll say it's designed purely because obviously you need to be able to install the CPU into that um, but the fact that it's right at the back of the case I think is really good because the air is obviously going to be flowing straight from there straight out the back of the case it's not going to interfere um, with the actual system so the heat literally escapes from there to there which is really good to see so that is essentially your um, sort of overview and look on the inside of the shuttle SZ87R6 what I'm going to do now is just basically give you a little little bit more technical information about the actual system give you my sort of first initial thoughts about the actual system um, so I'll be back to you in a moment Okay, so let's give you a little bit more technical information about the SZ87R6 from Shuttle. Included in the system, you have got 8-channel HD audio, which is handled by the Realtek ALC AAAS Kodak. And you also have an SPDIF connection on the back as well, which is really good to see. In terms of graphics for the system, you've got a PCIe X16 slot on the actual board itself. Um, I see that is uh, capable of handling a, handling a dual slot graphics card. Um, majority of cards should fit into this. I'll let you know a bit more uh, detail when we come to do the install in the actual into the actual system. You've got a HDMI connection as well as obviously a DVI connection on the back as well. If you did want to use the uh, built-in graphics, um, and obviously you do have a six pin and an eight pin connector if you wanted to use your additional uh, graphics card into the PCIe X16 slot. We've got dual network connections which are handled by the Realtek RTL 8 treble one e which is a really good network controller. 
In terms of memory, we can handle four sticks of RAM running at DDR3, 1333 and 1600 and it supports 2 plus 2 dual channel mode uh, with a maximum of 8 gigabyte per DIMM giving you a total of 32 gigabytes that you're able to install onto the actual motherboard. Processor support is quite simple, it's the fourth generation the Haswell 1150 CPUs that will fit into the system i3, i5 and i7. We've got a total of 10 USB connections on the actual system, four of them being USB 3.0, two on the front, two on the back, which is a great range of expandability for the system. Internally, all four SATA ports are the 6 gigabit per second, and it does support the Intel rapid storage technology in RAID 0, 1, 5, 10, and JBOD. So the system itself, as you can see, is more or less pre-assembled. Um, the cabling's already done, everything's sort of in place. It's just really a case of sticking a CPU in, sticking your RAM in, and sticking your hard drives in. Now the airflow inside the case might put some people off it, but the system itself has been specially uh, sort of arranged, all the components are in specific locations, uh, which means that you, you're not gonna get any form of real heat buildup, uh, which will obviously affect the stability of the actual system. And the heat pipe cooling technology, which Shuttle have implemented for the CPU, uh, means that it's, it's basically going to effectively get rid of the heat immediately instead of going around on the inside of the actual case, which obviously could cause problems with regards to warm air affecting the performance. The system itself is made from lightweight aluminium, so it's very strong, um, but at the same time it's particularly quite light. And the dimensions are 33.2 centimetres in length, 21.6 in width and 19.8 centimeters in height and the weight as it comes is 3.5 kilogram so it's very light indeed so overall my first impressions is that it's an extremely attractive looking system i really like the brushed aluminium i like the front design very subtle but with the flip down cover at the front it also provides a lot of expandability straight to the front of the system the system is very light, very, very strong, very well built, and the internal layout I think is actually quite good. There's a lot of space inside the system, which is good to see. It would have been nice to have somewhere within the, the actual case where you can actually go and install an additional fan if you felt that you needed one. But overall, it's a very impressive system. Now we are going to be doing an install into the actual system. We're going to go and chuck our Intel i7-77K um, along with 16 gigabyte of RAM. We're going to throw a probably the Western Digital Black 2 into the system along with a 4 terabyte Western Digital Enterprise Drive. And also our his R9-280X GPU into the system to see if that will fit as well. So it'll be interesting to know your thoughts about this particular system. Is it something that you'd look to purchase or would you want to go and build your own system? The Shuttle SZ87R6 more or less has everything that you need on the inside. And one thing to finally finish up with, you are able to replace the actual motherboard. So if you did want to upgrade this in a year, in a couple of years time to, to a newer chipset, a newer mini ITX motherboard, you are able to do that. So we hope you liked the unboxing and overview for the Shuttle SZ87R6 and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. We hoped you liked our video review. If you did, then please leave a like as well as any comments or questions you may have down below. Full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website nismotech.com along with all the links for purchasing if you wish. Also on our site you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways plus a lot more. We look forward to seeing you in our next review.